you live on the other side of the creek. On the the other side from the road. On the wrong side of the creek. <laughs> okay, on the wrong side of the creek. Uh, what do you do when the creek is real big? How do you get home? I have two cars and I put one across the creek and I cross over on a footbridge and I have one parked on this side of the creek and if I have to, I carry my groceries across the footbridge and then put them in the car and bring them up here. How, how often do you have to uh, do this? The creek isn't always running big, is it? How often does it run really big where you can't get across? Oh, it hasn't run big for a few years. I don't know what date. You even have to cross the creek to get your mail. Right. <laughs> Every day. I don't have to. I could walk, but I don't. When you moved here, uh, how did you acquire this place that, that you live at? My dad, which lived across the creek at the time, and this part of the land belonged to them, they told Bob and I if we would build a house here, that he would give us this part, which is 9.06 acres. And we built this house. You got a good deal. Because I think you have one of the prettiest places in the county here. Well, gee, thanks. <laughs> uh, when did you first get electricity here? Oh. About? In the 50, early 50s. Uh, and you didn't have indoor plumbing at that time no. either, did you? No. So where was the first place that you used your electricity? In my lifetime, you mean? No, no. In, in, when you got electricity here, where was the first place you put electricity? You mean I tried to see if it worked? Or? Uh, well, you told we me... We didn't have a well. Right. So where, where did you put... I didn't have any electrical appliances, except somebody had given me a... a an old toaster, and we tried that to see if it worked. Okay, where, where was your bathroom? I didn't have one. So what did you do? <laughs> we had an outdoor john, and uh, we did put electricity in it <laughs> because we had this house and a path. So the, one of the first places you put your electricity was in your outhouse? No, the first place we put it in here, and then we put it in the... In the outhouse. Uh -huh. Now, I'm just going to love this for everybody to hear. <laughs> uh, before you had electricity, how did you wash your clothes? on a rub board in a tub of water and heated it in a wash pot. And then, then before you got electricity, did you do that until you got electricity? No. Uh, we had a, a gasoline one that you started if it would start. We used that and I eventually got an electrical. Well, tell me with the gas gas one. What were the steps that you had to go through to do the washing of the clothes? Well, you had to still heat your water in a wash pot and um, then put it in the machine and then you had tubs to put your rinse water in and it had a wringer that would work and you put your clothes through the wringer into the uh, rinse water and we always rinsed them twice. So it took a good part of a day to do this? All day. And then how did you dry them? 
We hung them on the line outdoors. Use the solar, the solar uh, dryer, huh? Right. Now you have television down here now. How did you get television down here before satellites? Down in this canyon, how did you get television in there? Well, we couldn't. We we couldn't get uh, television. We ha did have a TV, but we played tapes on it until they got uh, one of those towers over there on the Caballo Mountain, and then we put a antenna up, clear up on top of the up here on the hill. And now you get good reception with the the satellite, uh -huh. which ruined everything, didn't it? <laughs> Uh, when you were first moved here, how often did you go to town? Well, I didn't go very often because I couldn't drive. Me and the kids learned to drive together. <laughs> and we only had one vehicle and Bob had to have it to work. So we didn't go very often. So how often do you go now? I go every two weeks. To the doctor and to do your grocery shopping and everything. Uh, de right down the road from you, east of you, a, a couple of miles, is a place called Sailor Park. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of uh, what, what kind of trees are down there in the sycamore? And why was it called Sailor Park? I really don't know unless a man owned that was named Sailor. And what did people use it for? Because there used to didn't mm -hmm. there weren't any houses in there. Picnics. Big picnic spot. Mm -hmm. uh, describe some of the things that you did for entertainment or socializing. Well, there wasn't too much social life. We did go to dances now and then. And uh, I'd have, when the kids were in school, well, we would take them to their school, whatever they were had to do in school or something other like that. Did, did you have box suppers or something like that? Yeah, we did down at the Caballo Schoolhouse. We had the box supper. Tell us what a box supper is. Well, you you fix a, up a box, and I don't happen to have my box, <laughs> but it was a a covered wagon. And we would fix either sandwiches or salads and cake and uh, stuff like that in it, and, and, or a pie. We also had just pie suppers. And whoever bought your supper, or you, you eat with you. Mm -hmm. Were you always happy with the person that you got? No, I never was. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, to me, he wasn't the best person in the world. None of them. And I tried to get Bob to buy my box one time, and he wouldn't do it. <laughs> so you always got stuck with these, these people that you didn't. Appreciate. Appreciate. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Appreciate. Uh, and uh, did all of these events usually take place in the school? Uh, yes. In the, and it was usually probably just involving the people up and down the the canyon. In the community. Yeah. Now I know that that you must have grown a garden. Oh, we had a garden every year, big gardens. And what would you grow? 
beans and potatoes and tomatoes and greens, peas, okra, watermelon, cantaloupe. Did you sell it or did you, was it for your use? I canned a lot of it, but sometimes we sold a little bit of it uh, for, so we could get uh, uh, like flour and sugar and coffee and stuff like that. We just traded it, you know, more or less. And the animals, what kind of animals did you raise? We had cows and hogs and horses. And who took care of all this? Well, I did mostly. Because Bob wasn't around a lot. That's right. And your brothers weren't around a lot. So. Yeah. <laughs> My kids were too little. <laughs>